Hi everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition, and today we're going to talk about when we're not okay. I heard this on the radio um, yesterday. Someone was saying that they were not okay in everything that's going on, and there was a comment made by someone else on the radio that said, well, no one's really okay. So I wanted to touch on this a bit about what does it mean when we say we're not okay? And the first thing I want everyone to remember is your human's not okay with what's going on. Everything that's going on right now is bringing up a lot of anxiety, it's bringing up a lot of stress, it's bringing up a lot of fear. A lot of that stuff needs to be cleared from the physical body. So we create realities that clear the fear. We create realities or clear the fear or whatever else we're trying to clear. So we create realities in a micro, in our microverse, Right? So we create our own little things going on to clear these things, whether it be through health scares, whether it be relationships that don't go well. Um, it doesn't really matter what we created, but we created all of these things to trigger certain emotions to get them cleared from our body. And when we go through a big collective clearing, as we're in now, where a lot of people are clearing the same types of things, we're going to see this play out in a lot of people at one time. It's like a mass clearing. So a lot of these realities have been set up for mass clearings. So people will say, okay, I'm not okay. You know, I have all these emotions going on. When we think about what's been going on, we've all been isolated to some extent, whether you've been isolated with three people or by yourself. So when we're by ourselves, our vibration increases because we don't have anyone else pulling on our field. Or even if we're with, we're with a small amount of people, we don't have the magnitude of people to try to synchronize our, synchronize our fields with. So you might find that nowadays you're going to be more tired when you do get out around people because it's everyone's trying to sync up. So when we're by ourselves, which we've been, your vibration is going to raise. The one thing everyone could do to an extent, no matter where you were in, in this, where, where you were in the world, you could usually get outside because that was allowed. You could sleep and get outside. That's going to raise your vibration even more which means you're going to have more stuff coming up, more stuff to clear because those emotions, the fear, the blame, the anger, the whatever it is, you can lump all those emotions into one. They all, um, they all are not, are now distorted to your new vibration. They can't, you can't hold it. You can't hold those things in your body anymore. So you have to let them out. Your vibration raises, you integrate more of your soul in the body, all those emotions are going to come out. So when we say we're not okay, our human's not okay. So change your words to your human's not okay. Your soul is fine. All this stuff is happening for a reason for you to be able to get this stuff out of your body. So you can shift it and get excited about whatever you're releasing from your body because it needs to come out. It's going to come out one way or the other. Whether it's something you create on a micro level, something that happens in the collective, at some point these things have to be released. They cannot stay to this extent anymore. It's not no longer okay for something to stay at this extent anymore. The cat was chewing on the cat is chewing on my plant, so he's actually really he must be releasing a lot of stuff too today. <laughs> okay, or was I? So just be aware of that. And it's okay if we're not okay. Everyone gets upset and they judge, oh, well, I wasn't okay. And now I'm upset that I'm not okay, but if somebody else seems okay, it might not be their time to clear certain things that you're clearing. It might, they might have cleared stuff earlier. Everyone's in a different spot in the process. So don't judge where you are. You're going to be clearing a lot of judgment over that too. Don't judge where you are. Understand that your, your human is not okay. Your soul is fine. And get excited about the clearing. Say, oh, I'm glad this stuff is coming up. It needs to go. Shift it. Don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at it as a good thing that it's finally getting cleared out of your energy, your body, your physical body, and cleared out of your energy field. Because that's what the goal is here. That's what we're going for. That's what we're trying to get rid of. That's what the planet's trying to do. So we're trying to get all this stuff out of our field. So don't worry so much. And don't have to worry about what it is. Just if it's anxiety, just let it clear it out. Now you can do a couple of things to clear it out. You can, sometimes we feel like we have to kind of set in the uncomfortableness, especially if we didn't like to be by ourselves and we're by ourselves a lot in this time that we kind of have to set in that because that's what we have to do. And you'll know what you need to do. 
you need to sit in it sometimes and just feel uncomfortable until you realize, okay, well, that's past. Sometimes we get outside and that helps because when you get outside, it raises your vibration even more and it kind of helps us kind of shift things. So you can always go outside and that'll help some of this stuff down and clear its way out. You can go to sleep. Sleeping will help also for you to get rid of it. Helping someone else in any way you can right now or any way you feel comfortable right now. A lot of people feel comfortable being around people. Some people don't. It's wherever you are and wherever you feel comfortable. But helping someone else just kind of takes the focus off ourselves and we'll just feel better. And be get excited. Don't look at it as a bad thing. I know I had a lot of stuff coming up during this this whole collective clearing and I tried to shift it and get excited about it. You know, be excited about what's coming next because stuff has to clear your body. You will see things shift in your outer world once this stuff starts start, once this stuff starts to shift out of your body. Because outside matches the inside. If you're holding fear and anger and judgment and jealousy, whatever it is, inside, you're going to attract it out. So you're going to kind of keep creating these situations because like's going to attract like. Let it clear from the body. No, your human is not okay with any of it. It's not supposed to be. Your soul is perfectly fine. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And keep practicing the art of intuition.